welcome Twitch chat and YouTubers of the future to Eternal Weekend 2021 on Magic Online. We have three vintage events this weekend. All will be nine or ten rounds of vintage, uh, and they will all be streamed live here on twitch.tv slash level one uh, what do I have for you today? Well, to the to surprise of actually absolutely zero people, I'm going to play some Paradoxal Outcome to start off this weekend. Um, I don't think that this deck is a fantastic choice on the weekend. I think there's a huge uptick in Pyroblast recently, uh, and I'm pretty worried for how I will fare. But the good news is I feel very confident playing this deck, very comfortable playing this deck, um, and I think that the Dress Down tech makes this deck quite powerful. Uh, instead of playing Sagas yourselves, I ignore the one Saga on the board, um, you're playing Dress Down as an answer to Saga, but it also it's an answer to all of the problematic permanents that uh, P.O. faces that are creatures. So, Lecter Roof, Leovold, Archon of Amiria, um, this answers everything, uh, which is really nice. It doesn't answer problematic like uh, Null Rods or Narsets, but it answers a lot of the creatures, which is a huge issue. Um, you'll notice the one tech that I'm choosing to run this weekend is I'm choosing to run a light white splash for the cards Monastery Mentor and Balance, both restricted in this format. I think Balance has a lot of game in a, in a, a, a metagame that may have more creatures than normal. Uh, I also think it's just a good card in PO. You have a lot of crazy mocks and starts where this becomes a mind twist. I uh, very much like this card in PO. Normally I play it in the sideboard, but I think in the main it makes a lot of sense today. And very light Tundra Splash. We're not planning to play two Tundras today. I want to play the full three islands. I want to be as wasteland proof as possible. And slow down, Justin. Um yeah, I just want I just want to play like the three island PO deck, but with a light tundra splash because I think the mentor and and the balance are important. We're playing um both robots in the board, Sphinx and Blightsteel for different matchups. Blightsteel um being for shops and Bliss being for Force of Vigor matchups. The full four Hercules is obviously a must in PO in my mind, and I'm playing a variety of Graveyard Hate in the form of Needles, Crypts, Tabernacles, and a Jailer. Uh, the full four Flusterstorms in the 75, it's just the best card to getting your cards to resolve, and the best card at stopping opponents' Tinkers from resolving. Um, two Fatal Pushes to help with the various creature matchups, and one Urza Saga in my sideboard as just a nod towards Jeskai as a way to help bridge the Jeskai matchup a little bit. Uh, if anyone has any questions about this build of PO, feel free to ask now. Um, but for the most part, it's a pretty straightforward what I usually like to run. <laughs> Would I bring Saga in against Bug? I've been not bringing Saga in against Bug, and the reason is because I'm keeping all three dress downs in. Um, but I'm not sure if that's correct. I'm not really sure. I, I haven't done as much testing with Saga in the sideboard as I wanted to. I played a couple leagues where I played one in the main, two in the board, zero in the main, three in the board. Um, and I, I'm not really confident on when you're supposed to have the Saga again and when you're not. I, it doesn't play super well with your three dress downs. Neither really does Mentor and Snapcaster, but Mentor and Snapcaster you can kind of time with your dress downs, where Saga is a little bit harder to time. So yeah, I'm excited. I think it'll be a fun weekend. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe. It'll really help the channel. It's free. And uh, hope you enjoy the, uh, the video. Welcome to round one of Vintage Eternal Weekend Mox Emerald. We have 263 players playing Vintage today. That'll be a little bit bigger than last year's first round. Uh, it'll be nine rounds of Swiss. Let's begin. I've got a Tinker. I've got a, uh, a Cheating Gataxian Probe. I'm pretty down for this. Just need to find some Moxin and try to figure out a way to get this Tinker to resolve. It's a nice hand. A Moxin makes this hand great. Even like a Probe into Mana Crypt is insane, obviously. Let's see what my opponent's working with. My opponent is on uh, Hate Bears, green, white, um, Stoneforge Mystic one. They have a Cavern of Souls. They have an uncounterable Thalia. They have a, a Force of Vigor, but no green card. They have no mental misstep target. This is going to be a tough one because my opponent's going to just lead with an uncounterable Thalia. And I don't have an answer. I have a Dress Down, but it's a couple turns away. Um, and then when I finally get there, they might have Vigor up. So... It's going to be a little challenging here.
especially if they draw into a green card or a variety of things. This one is the Mox Emerald art. Yeah, it's going to be a little tough. Um, not that a force would have helped me very much because my opponent does have Cavern. The best card I could have had off of that Cataxium Probe was a uh, Moxin. Letting me Moxin into Time Walk into Tinker would have probably won me the game, um, but I just didn't hit. So now we have to play out the hard mode uh, again. If you are wow, they're gonna go for thought. They're gonna go for sp oh, they have Pearl. Okay, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Are they gonna play a Spirit on turn one? That would be very good for me. They are gonna play a Spirit on turn one. That's interesting. I'm surprised they went for Spirit. It's good for me, though, because my plan is currently Tinker. I just need to find a Moxon and hope they didn't draw a green card. I'm surprised they went for Spirit. Alright, I found a top, which is not a Moxon. I'm just going to go for a Time Walk and see if we can find a Moxon. Didn't find a Moxon, so now we're going to probably have to go for an end step dress down. Um, I think that's better than... Like, I don't even think I'm supposed to play top here, because I want to just be able to play an end step dress down against Thalia. Hopefully they don't find Wasteland in their first two cards. Yeah, drawing three cards and missing on a Mox is pretty rough, but... Within the realm of possibilities, for sure. We do also have an added problem of if my opponent finds a green card. So this is going to be on human, so now they have an uncounterable Thalia. If I had found a Force of Will and they hadn't found a Cavern, we could have had a Force on Thalia, but now we don't have that. Shouldn't really matter. We were able to accelerate up to three lands. They didn't have a Wasteland, which is the big deal. Um, so we can just end up, we can end up Dress Down, draw two cards to try to get there. Um, of course, we can do that again on the next turn as well. They went for Artificer, so that they draw a, a Stoneforge Mystic. I'm wondering why they're not choosing to play Thalia. Uh, so I can counter this ability with Dress Down. And I don't have a... Well, I guess they do still play Thalia with this Pearl. I just don't know why the Thalia is the one they want to have be uncounterable. I guess I have to let this happen because I just need to play an end step dress down, so. But the good news is they don't have a green card uh, for Force of Vigor. So if we can just find our thing and combo off, we should be fine. We're going to be at 14 life, which is a little awkward, but. All we need to find is a Moxon, and then we can probably be fine. A land's a little rough because you have to get rid of your top. End of turn, turn your board in to nothings. Come on, Moxon, please. I mean, we can tinker off that. All right, so that's pretty reasonable, though. 14 life to work with, with a dress down in play, does make winning with Mentor a little harder. Um. Hmm. Don't really want to pay two life to play the Snapcaster because I have a dress down in play. I think I'll just draw into this and put our Moxin back on top. Then we have Moxon, Top, Crypt, Ancestral, Draw, Soul Ring. So I want to draw through a land to give myself the opportunity to find Talarian Academy. I think so. Theo has been found. 
Uh, willing to pay four life? Yes. Willing to pick up dress down? No. We probably need to balance away their board or find like a Yogwell kill should be good enough. I still don't want to play my land because I think I want to find Talarian Academy. I could pick up, uh, yeah, I can't pick up this dress down. Okay. Um, Hercules will help me get mana later. Mentor is a little rough because I have the dress down in play, but the, the plan currently is not going to be a uh, mentor kill. We're going to try to do a, a Yogwell kill. So I found another PO, which means we can keep drawing cards. Um, I do actually need to find a blue mana source. I could always demonic. Um, I just want to find an opal with this ponder, maybe. Oh, there's my balance. They have three cards in hand. Maybe we could just go for a balance kill. Okay, there is my... All right, this is going to be really good. Um... How do I want to do this? I'm going to draw. Draw P.O. Okay, so how do I want to play this out? Oh, I don't have... Yeah, so I can... Keep three cards. So I could keep Mentor, P.O., P.O. And go to two life. Maybe I should demonic. I can't demonic first because I have the the balance on top. What if I demonic? What if I just go demonic mentor PO and I just get a yog will? That's probably good enough. I just need to make sure I don't leave my crypt in play. Yeah, so let's pass this. Keeping Academy C done. Keeping Demonic Dio Mentor. Done. I guess the Demonic would have been in my yard because this is all just getting exiled. So I guess it really wouldn't have mattered too much. And then we can go tap all of this, pick up everything. And then we can go mentor. And now we have lethal. I guess we don't even need to do that, but it felt like that was the cleanest play that involves me not screwing up anything. It doesn't involve me like having too many risky sequences. I can just PO again if I want. Yeah, I might as well. Let's draw like seven. Actually, maybe I'll just do the Yog Will now. Could just be lethal that way. One, two, three, seven, eight. Pen, Yog will. Don't even need a time walk turn. Where's my other opal? Yeah, I'm surprised the way my opponent sequenced this game, but I'm happy it all worked out for us. I don't really think their sequencing changed the way this game would have gone, though. 
mostly the best thing that happened was my opponent didn't draw a green card for Vigor. All right, game one in the books. It didn't take too long. Still got 16 on the clock. Balance is great. Dress down is great. Big fan of both of those cards here. So, uh, against green-white cards, let's go just take a quick peek at the deck list. Um, should just find, like, Wessel's win. Um, so it'll be a full four vigor, a trap for oof, um, no answers to Sphinx. So we're going to bring in Sphinx. I don't know if we're going to bring in Saga. Probably not because like I said, dress down's our main plan. We'll have to see. Going to bring in pushes. Probably it. But we have a bunch of fluster storms we don't really want. Um, we don't really want mental misstep, though it hits noble hierarch. We could bring in both robots, but I don't really see a need for that. Maybe we'll just bring in a needle for wasteland. The wasteland deck, right? Yeah. I think this looks fine. Like, you technically could play your Fluster Storms because they counter Force of Vigor. But I don't think that should matter very much. Maybe you want to keep one in. Maybe I'd rather have just Needle Needle, Push 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 Sphinx. That seems fine. Yeah, hell yeah. This hand's sick. sick. This is a classic play into Fluster Star, uh, play into Mindbreak Trap hand. Well, let's see if they have uncounterable. Okay. I'm definitely not touching this. It's not unreasonable to touch this, but I would rather keep my PO if I can help it, actually. Um, like this could backfire. My opponent can find cavern and then go mox cavern or something, but Oh, man. Alright, my opponent did find Cavern of Souls. Um, so if they find a... Like, if this says Oof and they, and they cast a Moxin, we're just going to snap counter it. And hope they don't have a second Moxin. They named Human. Okay, I'm just going to force this uh, Sapphire. You should not, uh, it doesn't really matter because, okay, they have both. All right, well. It's a good, it's a good starting hand for sure. Uh, will I play Black Lotus? I think. Yes. I might cast Ancestral. No, I don't really want to walk into Trap. No, they can't cast Trap. There's a Thalia. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to cast Ancestral here. Wow, that is not a great card to draw. Those were not what we were looking for. Hmm. Could be a tough game. Was really hoping my opponent didn't have two accelerated mana pieces. I could have forced once upon a time, but they could have easily had another land anyways. Oh, they just had double cavern. So if this name's Collector Roof, if this is Collector Roof, it's going to be so hard for us to win. Archon is also pretty annoying. Oh boy, that's a hell of a start for this deck. Upwards of definitely their best possible start. De Delta's a great draw, though. Delta's a great draw. I mean, it's not great because of Archon, but it's not bad. Two hundred and sixty-three competitors today. All right, they just have all kinds of mana. Is this gonna be a collector roof, a spirit. Well, I need to keep this dress down, so the spirit has to resolve. Again, we're going to go... This is still a winnable game. It's just a tough one. Three... Four, three, five, seven, eight, nine. I think I want Pearl and just go for an end step combo, maybe. I have plenty of mana here. I can fetch another basic. As long as they don't have Collector Roof as their last card. Should be fine. I will have to find a combo piece, obviously. All right, they didn't have a Wasteland or anything. They have one spell to cast. They could have two cards if they want. Oh, they can't draw the card this turn, actually. So it's just whatever they have in their hand. Okay, Spirit is totally fine. Okay, so here's the plan. I get hit for a million. End step, uh, crack our fetch first, and then dress down, and then spin, and look for a way to win. Dress down is so good, chat. I'm I'm just this card is unreal. I could dress down first to get a multi. I don't need a multicolor. I can just fetch a basic here. I'd rather see four fresh cards. End of turn. Cast dress down. Dress down is so good. <laughs> This is exactly the card Theo has always been looking for. It's a permanent. It stops hate bears as a removal spell. It pitches to force. It draws a card. It's just so good in this deck. Show me balance. Show me tinker. Show me. Actually, does tinker even do it? Tinker. Show me P.O. Show me something. Demonic Tutor. That should do it. Uh, 
Uh, the question is, does a Tinker win this game? Tinkering win this game. They can attack for... Eight. I can block here. They can attack for seven, and I gain six, and I go to three. I think a Sphinx should do it. Can't protect my Sphinx with force because I won't have enough mana. We could just go Demonic Balance, and we could play this top out, or we could let the top go and spin. I don't think they have answers. I think I'm going to tinker a Sphinx into play. As long as I don't play another dress down and give them access to like vigor. They're going to draw a card here. Sure. Now I can keep a card. I just don't think this balance is going to be good enough. My opponent's going to have two draws if they play another Archon. Like, we don't actually get a lot of time. I'm going to... I'm leaning towards Tinker. I do wish I had another mana. Maybe I should have spun in a different way so I could have topped into that fetch land. I could have spun it with the fetch land as the second one, and I could have topped into the fetch land. Then I would lose my top forever. I just don't think balance is going to be good enough here. Yeah, I'm going to go Tinker. I'm going to draw and see if I can hit a fetch land or like a, not fetch land, a land of some kind of land so I can hold up force. Didn't I missed, but They're already at 11 as well is something to keep in mind. The, th the thing I'm worried about is if they just draw any card and it goes into play, I could just very easily lose to it, you know? If they just have any card, if they just top deck any card in their two draws, I think Tinkering Sphinx is better. And if, if my opponent doesn't play something here that matters, like, I'll have Force to protect my Sphinx, and they're going to die. Like, if they don't hold back this Archon, they could die to Mana Crypt next turn. What do they draw? Again, I really wish we had a land so I could ha protect this with force, but I just don't have it. I don't think Oof punishes me. If they drew Oof after I balanced, it would be really bad, though. Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, that could be problematic. Could that beat me? I had to F6 because there's a Thalia in play. Uh, I can't counter it because I don't have any mana. That's why I use my top to try to find mana. Yeah, Cauldra could be bad for me, right? I'm not sure. I don't really. I haven't really done the math, but I we might race it because we attack first. I also have an Ambush Viper, and they have a Mana Crypt in play. I think we're still winning this game. Well, I gave them infinite turns if I balanced. <laughs> I don't have a threat if I balance. This gives me a threat. They're at a low life total. They have a Mana Crypt. They have to beat this. I think tinkering is better than balancing. I'm pretty confident. Sword of Fire and Ice. 
Um, I think I beat that via, via life gain. They can't play it this turn because it's of Thalia. And they kind of have to block. So we're drawing a top. I have only, I can only cast one spell. So I'm just going to hold everything and attack. No, they found a sword of fire and ice. Are they going to just block with this Archon? Like, yeah. Okay, so I go to 10. The fire and ice puts them, puts me to, can only deal seven. And I should still win in the air. Don't we play top? No. Well, maybe? Yeah, maybe we play top. Well, now I have force and snap. Because Archon is gone. I guess I would still have that. I have Snap Ancestral. No, I don't, because there's Spirit, Spirit, Thalia. <laughs> Never mind. Um, and we might be supposed to play top. No, but then I can't play Force and Snap because of Thalia. I'm going to pass. I don't think there's any need. So my opponent puts a Fire and Ice into play and they attach it to a spirit, and they put me to three, and then they probably die? I could also cycle my Ancestral, that's true. I would like with them to lose another flip, that'd be really nice. They lost the flip, so if they can't have to kill me on this turn now, so I think we win. They did lose a lot of flips in a row this game. It's pretty unlucky. So I think we just won. Would we have won if they had gotten Cauldra? Takes five blocks. Takes one. Takes... I think we still would win. I think we got there. It was pretty dicey, though. It would have been really bad for us if we balanced and then... They played a Stoneforge Mystic and got a Cauldra. Like, that would have been really bad. Sword of Fire and Ice on a first striker. That's interesting. I didn't even think about that. See if they do it, I guess. I have an extra blocker, though, right? I don't think that will work out for them, but it's a cool line. Oh, yeah, Sphinx is also first striking. <laughs> Sphinx is a broken magic card. So good in Vintage. We, we, we were just going through the merits of that line and just like, mm, yeah, but this also has keyword soup. So if they put it on Thalia, we just block Spirit, Spirit. Oh, they just put it on Spirit. That's unfortunate because I'd like to have killed both Spirits and cast Ancestral. That'd be fun. All right, they're just going to attack with this and put me to three. I guess that's fine. Doesn't really do anything, right? They can't even draw a card off of this. It's not like they can play an Archon and Chump Block or anything. Because they've just tapped out of that mana. Um, I guess it makes sense for us to cast Snap Ancestral. I don't think it makes, doesn't matter, right? They're just going to die to the Sphinx. <laughs> I 
I don't think they play a Palace Jailer. At least the last Weissel list, if they copied that list, it wouldn't have had a Jailer on it. All right. 1-0 start, beating Hate Bears, and Dress Down was just the absolute best card in the entire deck. It was so good. Just, just turn off three Hate Bears. Beautiful. All right, here we are. Round two, Vintage Eternal Weekend. Let's do it. On the play again. What do we got? Oh my god, okay. Yes. Keep. I like to keep. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for the 16 months. I think here I'm going to go Island, Sapphire, Emerald, Pass, Upkeep, Ancestral. Just play around Negation. Doesn't really feel like there's any reason not to play around Negation here. Um, the reason I guess you could not play around Negation... I, I, I just like... I really extra want my Ancestral not to be negated because I have a Snapcaster Mage. Um, so it, it makes a lot of sense here to just deploy the fleet and then I might actually not deploy the emerald in case my opponent has a force of vigor. That actually seems kind of reasonable to me. Um, yeah, I actually decided I'm going to, I'm going to just play Sapphire go and then I'm ancestral on their upkeep. That'll also let me play Flusterstorm if I draw it. Um, this, this, this plays around vigor the best, plays around mind break, doesn't play around memory trick the best, but, um, plays around negation, which is really nice. Ancestral target me. What do you say, opponent? Resolves. Not the greatest draws. Um, definitely didn't want to see a land or a PO here. But we have a rebuy, hopefully. Depends on what my opponent plays. I don't have a force. I don't have a lot of things. Underground C go. Interesting. Could mean a couple things. I have a fluster now, though, which is really nice. So I'm going to just play uh, Island, Emerald, Go. Hold open, Fluster, Snap, Fluster, Snap, Ancestral, all those kind of things. Um, obviously, our hand is just really, not like, the, just having Ancestral makes our hand so much better. I'm interested to see what my opponent plays this turn, whether they're a Tinker deck or a Doomsday deck. Be interesting to see. If my opponent, like, has a Preordain here, I'm definitely going to respond with an Ancestral. Okay, so they're a Tinker deck. Um, hmm. Hmm. This is pretty rough. I don't really think I want to respond with Snap Ancestral here. I could, and I could obviously beat a Fluster, but I'm like more worried I would die after than anything else. Hmm. But now I can't resolve my own Snap Ancestral. I actually think it's okay if I get my Snap Ancestral countered because I can then pick up my Snapcaster later anyways. So I think this is fine to just jam anyway. Yeah, I think I'm just I think it's okay playing this and then just casting Ancestral. Um If they fluster, obviously they beat me, but then I have a a, a better shot of resolving like a PO for three, which is pretty good. So I think this is fine. Looks like a fluster. Oh, just a hard cast force? Oh, this is a fucking hole breacher. Uh, I didn't think about hole breacher. That's probably going to just ruin me. I should have I, I guess I should have responded to Lotus with Snap Ancestral. Not having a force here is eh, holy shit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that is a really punishing play for sure. Um Wow, I don't know why they tap this, not this. Now I'm going to have to find a dress down before I PO. I found a dress down, so I still can't PO right away, so we're just going to pass. Uh, yeah, that's really bad for me. I, I, Okay, so the answer actually was to snap Ancestral in response to Black Lotus. I didn't really think of a convincing reason to do so. I was like more worried if I like if I like play a fluster battle over my Ancestral that they un they go like... Lotus Lan Lotus Mox Tinker or something, but uh, now I'm in super big trouble because I I just didn't play around Hole Breacher very well. Okay, well now I might. Oh God, <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess this is just taking a turn for the worst here. Uh, no, I definitely wasn't gonna fluster my own ancestral just to stop treasure tokens. I don't think that would be a good play. 
I guess I think I'm going to wait now on this dress down and make sure I get Saga tokens off of it. They got their own fluster, which is what I was trying to play around this whole time. The unfortunate part is dress down is not going to stop this Narset, which means I'm going to have a really hard time winning with these POs. Um, they can't attack into my Sapcaster, so that's nice, but... I think I'm just going to hold this dress down now because it doesn't really feel like we're winning if we just like dress down and I can't PO because of an R set. So I'm just going to hold the dress down until after the sagas go off. Um, that will buy me a bunch of time, hopefully. Maybe we can draw Black Lotus and cast Citadel. Maybe we can draw... I don't know. We're very far behind, but Hole Breacher and R set is a really hard one to battle through. Uh, I definitely played poorly, though. I definitely played poorly. Uh, sure. The I would cycle the POs for a redraw, but that is not how Hole Breacher works. That's how, uh, it's only if they had just Narset in play. Yeah, I'm not sure that, like, me resolving Ancestral before the Lotus comes down is, was even going to help me in this game, because what, I would have drawn Dress Down Soul Ring. Unless this third card was a Force of Will, it wouldn't have mattered very much. Um... So yeah, I'm going to wait until this Saga is fully utilized, and then we'll dress down. God, that would have been tilting as hell to draw. Um, yeah, I mean... Maybe we'll get like a Saga... Uh, I don't know if they'll attack with Urza, give us a chance to hit this. I'm not sure. My opponent has a... Dem uh, oh, right, they can tap these for blue because of Urza. <laughs> That's so bad for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, this game... Got out of hand really quickly after resolving an Ancestral. To be fair, we drew, like, hor hor horribly. We definitely drew horribly. We could have drawn much better cards. Okay, they're not even going to play another Construct here. Hmm. Are they just going to go, like, Demonic for Vault Key? Okay, that's an interesting way to go about it. I guess they have a Fluster, so they can do that. And I, I actually have no counter spells. Yeah, I guess that's pretty bad for me. Oh, they don't even have to demonic for it. Fantastic. Yeah, my opponent's draw was actually better than mine, which is kind of wild seeing as we had double mox and ancestral. Um, but it was, it was better. All right. Die. The Natty Volt key, not ideal. The three PO draw after I drew Hold Breacher, after they played Hold Breacher Narset was really rough. Um, yeah, I mean, it do be like that. I'm gonna bring in some Fatal Pushes and a, and a Fluster Storm. Um, I don't really like Hercules Recall once I have three Dress Downs. I don't need another Island. That's just unnecessary. I'm gonna keep the balance in. Um, and I'm gonna just cut. I don't know what I'm gonna just cut. Everything else seems good. Nothing else is really bad here. I kind of think I want both pushes, though. Hmm. I don't really like cutting Mystical that much in this matchup, but it's fine. I guess we'll cut Mystical. They are a four fluster deck. Yeah, so I definitely don't like the way I played it. I don't think it would have mattered too much if I had played it better. Um, but I definitely think I misplayed. What I really needed to do was hit um, a Force of Will, not three POs. Mm. Something that I could have done differently is I could have just Ancestraled on my turn and just like gone all in on turn one. The problem with that line is I don't know what my opponent's playing. I feel like playing around Vigor and Negation is a very reasonable thing to do, especially when I have a, a Snapcast ready to go in my hand. The way they played Underground Pass represented in my mind flusterstorm so i don't really hate the way i played it but oh this hand is bad 
I mean, I could have hit Force of Will and won that game still, so... Also, I I pretty much play with the knowledge that my opponent probably knows my 75 because I play face up every weekend and it goes on Twitter and it goes on Twitch and it goes everywhere. So hiding cards from my deck list doesn't usually matter very much. I'm going to mulligan this. Oh boy, these hands are just, they're just not it. I'm going to keep this one, but not thrilled. Um, yeah, I mean, Pyroblast is really, really good against PO, so. So, I think Pyroblast is on the comeback train, so it's a little harsh. A little harsh to be playing PO. That's why, that's one of the big reasons I didn't think it was a great tournament to play PO, but I don't really think that this, like, blue-black Hull Breacher Flusterstorm deck is, like, that good against PO. Um, obviously Hull Breacher is annoying, but I have three main deck answers in Dress Down. I can just play around it. Unfortunately, my opponent went, like, Lotus Hull Breacher Surprise. Um, and I didn't play around it, but that's kind of on me more than it is on the deck. This is probably like the uh, the uh, blue-black uh, Tinker list that the Power Nine's been playing. I have a Singleton Saga in the board, but none in the main. Three dress downs instead. I think Saga and PO is just not very good. It's okay against uh, Just Guy, but besides that, it just makes your deck worse typically. Um, Merchant Scroll seems like a reasonable one. We get an Ancestral Recall. They have their own Ancestral Recall. That's pretty brutal. Uh, what this does mean is I'm going to cast Merchant Scroll Ancestral on my turn, because I know they probably don't play very many negations, if any. Um, they might play two or one. Um... I guess I can go look. I don't remember. Maybe P9 played one in the board. P9 played one main, none in the board. Yeah, I don't feel like playing around one main. I think I would rather play around the four flusters. Make them have it. I think we're going to lose this. It looks real bad for me. My opponent had a natural ancestral draw. Full breacher force. It's going to be really hard to win this. The matchup is like pretty even. And so it kind of depends on who has the better hands. And it sure looks like my opponent has a better hand than I do. Kind of a rough part about playing um, like Tinker decks and PO decks. The mirrors are not very good. Um, they typically don't matter. Your, your your lines of play typically don't matter as much as they could. Um, they might end up being like more dependent on draws than anything. Yeah, I mean, them vamping here means I assume they have a Tinker or a Hole Breacher set up ready to go. Uh, not out sure what else you would vamp for. Maybe you vamp for a Saga. I don't know. I don't think they are a slasher. Like, Flusterstorms just come down to, like, who had more Moxin in their draw. Alright, probably vent for a Lotus, and then they're going to play Tinker or Hull Breacher. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Mentor Citadel. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, my opponent's draws have just been a lot better than mine. I don't really know, not sure what I could have really done. Like, like I said, the one thing we could have done is in game one, we could have played around a possible hole breacher. Um, we could have done that. Uh, and it wouldn't have mattered, but we could have definitely made a better play in game one, so. Yeah, force of will off the top, that pretty much makes sense.
Yeah. Such is the Tinker Mirror. Ooh. My opponent has to be really careful. They have a lot of three cost cards that they could accidentally cast off of this Citadel. This is a big reason I don't like Dig Through Time in these decks. There's just a lot of instances where it's not that good. You won't have the cards in your yard or you have to cast it off Citadel. Like they took 13 damage off these two spells. I mean, they might just find Volt Key. Maybe it doesn't matter. Could easily happen that way. Tinker, Volt Key and Tinker. A oh, whole Breacher, okay. And Tinker? I mean, you know my hand. If you have it, you can just cast it. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Jay, bro. Hope you had a good stream. Ah, yes. That's a good one, too. What advice do I have? Cast your powerful spells before your opponent. <laughs> I'm the one who needs advice right now. I got annihilated in this match. All right. I mean, I technically can still draw Tinker here, and they could have missed on their... Um, they could have missed on this Time Twister for a, a, a Force, and if I or a Fluster, I could just draw Tinker. That is not the one. All right. Unfortunately, didn't get there. My opponent just absolutely murdered me. Not even close to close. My hands were, my hand game two was just not super strong, and they led with Ancestral Vampiric Citadel on turn two. So, not a good time to take an early loss, but it's never a good time to take an early loss. All right, here we are. Round three, vintage. Eternal Weekend, Mox Emerald, uh, took the L last round in the Tinker Mirror. Could have played us a little bit better, sequencing around Hull Breacher. So let's try to do a little bit better this time. Um, yeah, it's a perfectly reasonable hand. It's not the strongest hand, but it has play. Um, the nice part is if we can draw an action spell, we have double action spell using Yogwell. I like a lot. Uh, definitely don't want to go for, like, the you know, for one or anything. Definitely going to hold up in our force. We can even hard cast force if we want. It's actually a pretty reasonable play here. It would be, like, hard cast force and then, uh, not exactly, because you can't really build up to PO very easily. Probably wouldn't hard cast force. Probably would pitch force if we had to. The problem is this is our action spell currently, and we could, we can PO for two. It's definitely possible. Uh, wow. So my opponent is playing... <laughs> workshops and they have uh a casual seven mana on turn one let's hope it all goes into a god pharaoh statue a golos i think we let a golos happen you don't want to let a golos happen but i also think that it's not really the axis i want to fight on mm, i could fight on the axis though ah it just doesn't feel right to me like, if they follow this up with a Null Rod or a Sphere, those are infinitely worse. I'm going to let this resolve. I'm going to hope to draw an action spell on my next turn. My opponent starting with 7 mana is very problematic because they can play Golos and a Sphere. <laughs> Which is pretty basically the end of the world. Uh, they did get a Strip Mine. Interesting. Do they have a follow-up Sphere? They don't have a follow-up Sphere, so an interesting keep. I feel like you have to kind of keep those hands. So if we can find some action here, even just a Mox is fantastic for me. That way I can peel for three. Moxins? Any Moxins? Dress down. You're a little late on the dress down. 
I think I'm just gonna PO for two. See what we can find. Demonic, okay, so that seems like a reasonable play. What is the best thing we can do? We could, we have how much mana? We have six mana, so we could demonic for a t uh, tinker. Tinker for, um, all right, we could do one to tinker. What if we did like, we could do ancestral and then uh, Yogwill after if we wanted to, how much would that cost? So I would have blue, triple black, blue, double black, triple colorless. So one colorless, two. So I could go demonic, ancestral, Yogwill, Lotus. But I think tinkering should be better here. I can't imagine that tinkering is is maybe we still go for a tinker play, but we do like. What if we go Lotus, Vault, Demonic for Tinker, Yogwill, Lotus, Tinker, and then I don't even use my land. I think that should be the play. I did that math right, right? I don't really want to use my land drop is what I'm trying to play around here. Is it worth it? I think so. I think so. All right, so Tinker out of Citadel, land drop to give. Time walk's a good one. Unfortunately, I will be exiling because of Yogwill, but I think that's okay. I think having the land drop to give is more important. Like I just hit double land and okay. Go to my next turn. Another land. Brainstorm. Uh, wow, so many lands. I think what I'll do is I'll put a land back. Uh, probably six or F6. Not sure. Opponent's asking how they F6. Um, I think putting back a land and going Narset, drawing into Ancestral. I could also put back a land and dress down into Ancestral. That might be better. A little annoying with, like, a Mentor, which is going to be our way to win, but I think it's fine. Dress down... Ancestral, Moxin, Moxin, Moxin. Um, Snapcaster, no, no, just, just top, PO. Yeah, my opponent's off it. I think that's fine. Um, we would probably draw through most of our deck and then just play a mentor without a dress down in play, make a bunch of tokens. Um and basically just force and make sure another tat like a tabern even if a tabernacle resolves, it probably doesn't matter. I like how we played that. Very powerful. I mean, we just drew all of our we drew a bunch of restricted cards in a row, which was really, really nice. Um getting the win off of Golos in game one is really nice because it's a tough matchup, honestly. The Golos deck is pretty rough. I'm going to bring in um, Saga, three Hercules, maybe Needle, um, and a Robot. And I'm going to take out uh, Flusterstorms, Mental Misstep, Cataxian Probe, um, some number of Dress Down. Uh, I don't really typically like Snapcaster very much. Don't really like Narset very much. 
Um, I don't really like push, so I'd rather think I'd rather have a dress down than a push. So I'm thinking like these cards that uh, either cast counter spells or just cost mana, like too much mana to use. Stopcaster is can be nice because it can like ambush a, a Phyrexian Revoker, but should be fine with just dress down. Uh, dress down is obviously killing Saga tokens. It's turning off Revoker and it's um, getting rid of the ETB on Golos. All very reasonable. Um, I think I'm going to leave in balance, mentor, everything like that. This seems like a reasonable choice. And I think even though we have a balance in our deck, I think bringing in an extra land with Saga is fine. Um, sorry, even though we have, uh, not balance, even though we have dress downs in our deck, I think bringing in our own Saga for an extra land drop is fine. Um, so I like this board plan. We are looking to needle like Wasteland, Saga, Ghost Quarter, those kind of things. It's not the strongest card to board in, but uh, yeah, the Sphinx is just not a fast enough clock. Um, they could play Stone Coil, Serpent. There's a ton, ton, ton of reasons, but Blade Steel is literally in my sideboard just pretty much for this matchup. So uh, here I have not exactly a turn one Tinker, but I could draw into it. I'm definitely going to keep it and hope to draw into it. We have a Force for their first play, so we're in a great spot here again. Do you need to find a Moxin that's not an Opal? Would be nice. Saga, okay. Again, I'm probably going to force any turn one here, especially that one. And now we're just looking to see Moxin that's not an Opal off the top. Beautiful. Um, do we play around Mind Break Trap? God, I don't think so. I feel like that's asking for pain. Um, I think I'm just going to put a robot in play. I could pretty easily put a Citadel in play here, but I don't... Maybe I'm supposed to put a Citadel in play. I don't even have a land drop to give. I can wait a turn to play around Mindbreak Trap, but the problem is I can run into a second Null Rod, so I don't think I'm allowed to. The, my, my only question is, do I um, get a Citadel or do I get a bot? And I think I can get a Citadel here. Pretty sure I'm supposed to get a Citadel here. This is, the, this is definitely an opportunity to get a Citadel. Okay, I'm gonna get. Am I gonna get immediately punished for it? <laughs> uh, might immediately get punished for it. Uh, island. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Maybe I was supposed to get a black source there. Oops. Oh, I was supposed to fetch an underground sea so that I could. No, I can't tinker off that. All right. Well, I actually failed here. Um. So maybe I just got punished for playing a citadel. It's pretty rough. My opponent can play another null rod, and it's really annoying. Um, they could play like a Graph Digger's Cage would be pretty annoying. If I do get another turn, I have Tinker for, um, a robot or a top. I don't think I'm supposed to get the robot because that's like the point where you get Citadel, where you actually have a, an open board and two land drops. Another no run. No, it's a Revoker. That's fine. I, I, I... I think, uh, in general, when you have the opportunity to get Citadel, like, at full life with two land drops to give, you just always do it. The chance you, like, win on the spot is usually very high. Um, I don't know. Like, the Golos deck can beat Citadel by just, uh, by beat Blightsteel by going, like, Workshop, Golos, uh, Block, make constructs that are bigger than it, or play in Snaring Bridge. Like, there's a bunch of ways the Golos deck can beat Citadel, uh, to, can get beat, but no, no, that's not true. I've lost my last three games that I've blight steeled against uh, Golos. No, uh, sorry. The last two games. The last two games I've blight steeled against Golos, I've lost. I'm not even lying. That's, that's, that's actually just the truth. Uh... It just can make things bigger. It can, it can do um, ensnaring bridge. There's a couple different ones. Oh, 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 oh. Sure. Um. I 
think I'm gonna fetch the ground. I can always go Yog Tinker here, but I don't need to do that yet. Okay, sweet. That's just gonna be game. Probably didn't order that in the correct way. But that's gonna be the end of the game. I I, I think that I was supposed to get Citadel. I just like I got pretty unlucky and missed, but that's okay. Oh, you good. You love beating up on Golos a little bit. It's a good feeling. All right, here we are, round four, up against Matt. I think Matt's left the chat, so we should be good to go. Um, probably playing Bizarre, but could be anything. Um, see, like this hand would be reasonable if it wasn't Bizarre, but I think if we think my opponent is on Bizarre, then I think this hand has to just go back. Hands also no good. Yeah, my opponent's mulliganing with me. Still, they're both going. They're both going to five. Jeez, these hands are all unplayable. My opponent's going to four. I'm going to four. Okay. I mean, I think this might be doable. So I think this could have be a bizarre four card hand, maybe. I'm not 100% sure it can, but I think I'm going to give it a shot. So my opponent's at four cards. I'm at four cards. My four cards are one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is where we're at. I think this is fine. My opponent looks like they're keeping their four cards because they they haven't said they're going to keep yet, but I assume if they're not mulliganing instantly, it means they found one with a bizarre. No, they're powdering. Okay. All right, I'm going to keep. Wait, so no, they didn't. No, no, no. They, no, they kept on four. They kept on four. They kept on four. So I'm going to keep, and I'm going to bottom these three. And my opponent is on the play, unfortunately. And they have a bazaar, so. Not much I can do about it. I think that on four, I can't really afford to keep anything. Like, I can't really afford to mulligan this anymore. Double dredger, hollow one on their multiple four. It's pretty good. Double hollow one, double, dr double dredger. All right, well, now we need to find a tinker. Yeah, that's not going to do it. I mean, Mentor is good against hollow ones, but um, double Stinkweed Imp is, like, too brutal, I think. They would have to miss pretty badly. I guess, technically, this did not whiff pretty badly. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't really think I can mulligan more than going to four, and their four-card hand was insane. Like, if I had found a Tinker hand in any of my hands, it would have worked because my opponent had no counter magic. But, um... Yeah, they didn't. <laughs> they definitely didn't. Uh, they might turn one of these into a Cabal Therapy. Yeah, but there's nothing to hit, so it doesn't matter too, too much. I guess they could turn both into Cabal Therapies, because zombie tokens are probably better than hollow ones at this point. Yeah, like, like I said, nothing, not much I can really do about it. It's the power of Bizarre of Baghdad. I just needed to find a, a hand with Tinker, and I, none, of my, none of my hands had Tinker, so... Looks like they're going to take the Ponder, which seems reasonable. I feel like we probably just have to win our flip and top deck tinker. I think that's about the only shot we have. It's still winnable with if we win our flip and top deck tinker, but... No, I think Mentor is quite good right now. Mentor has never been good against Bazaar of Baghdad, so I'm not really concerned about that. I think Mentor is fantastic. We won a bunch of our games with Mentor today. Mentor is just like super good in the current metagame. A lot of creatures, a lot of like mid rangey blue decks. I think Mentor is fantastic. I don't know what the problem is. Like, Mentor is, has never ever beaten Bazaar in game one by itself. So, like, I just can't go below four. I don't think. Maybe I can go below four. Like, my opponent could have had a much worse Bazaar hand. Like, this was pretty much the top of the line mold of four, right? Double hollow one, double dredger. Um. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to bring in a bunch of hate. I'm going to bring in Jailers, Rips, Tabernacles, Needles. Uh, and I'm going to bring in 
Binks. And then I'm going to take out uh, Dress Downs, Hercules Recall, Buster Storms, Mental Misstep. Keep Narset on the play. I guess I can rather have a Fluster Storm than a Snapcaster Mage. Um, gonna keep Repeal in case they're playing Chalice of the Void. This looks fine. Uh, I can also have an Island I can get rid of. Maybe I'll just keep all my Flusters to protect my Needles. Seems fine. Looks fine. Yeah, let's run this. Yeah, like if our seven card hand was like Mox, 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 PO, it would have beaten my opponent's draw by a lot. <laughs> this hand's no good. Um, Yeah, this hand's reasonable, though. Che Cheaty Face Probe should help a little bit. Guess we just get rid of Demonic. Gotta play around a lot of things. Vigor, Trap. Gonna be tough. He said, "I really, <laughs> I really don't like playing virtue." You murdered me. It wasn't close, Matt. Come on. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what's in their six card keeper. Uh, what do you got? You've got Mind Break Trap, Vigor. <laughs> yeah, Mind Break Trap, Vigor, Grief. Good gosh. Um, I don't. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. I can't even play around this in like any capacity, right? So I guess I'll just go Sapphire top. Just run everything into it and see what it... Crypt Go is terrible, right? I think Crypt Go is horrible. Like, if this gets trapped, I think it's okay. Didn't get trapped. Do I want them to trap my scroll? Not really, I guess. I guess I'm just going to pass with this. The problem is if I pass, now they're going to just grief away my Dormod script. I don't know, man. Bizarre is wild. Watch them, like, wasteland me here. I don't really know how I was, what I was supposed to do against this. My opponent just had all the right answers. All right, they got rid of Mind Break Trap. Are they going to vigor me? They're not even going to grief me. Kind of confused. Force seems reasonable. I mean, I'm just going to hold open force, play Tormod script. Then I'm going to go merchant for ancestral. I don't know, man. I'm confused on what's happening here. Maybe they drew a second Mind Ray Trap and they're just baiting me. I'm just forcing this. Maybe they drew a second Mind Break Trap and I'm just getting baited. No? I don't really understand what's happening. It doesn't really feel like these were the correct lines for my opponent, but... I guess I'll take it. Like, if you're going to keep Grief, why wouldn't you just keep Mind Break Trap? I don't understand. I mean, I'm set up real well now, though. Tell you that much. Um, I think we'll just pass. Well, maybe I want to do um, Spin and see if I have a Fetch. I can hold up Fluster if I want. Oh! 
Oh. I mean, I could also do that. I mean, that's a thing we could do as well. Um, you know, I mean, just a choice we could make. We could do that. <laughs> uh, okay all right well uh oh yeah i mean that's a good one too why not let's let's do that i don't really know what my opponent chose to do on this turn but it doesn't feel like it was the right thing to do yeah i mean they're very dead I don't want to see what's in their hand. They had double green. Oh, they had a second bazaar. Still doesn't make sense. No, I don't have to. I don't even have to tutor for it. I should like be holding prior. I don't really. It doesn't really matter at this point. They're dead. They are dead. Um. Sure. Let's just or something i do not like the choices my opponent made on this in this game i think we would probably lose if they griefed us but now we're just gonna get a mentor kill uh, i should just demonic for a mentor or something Um, I'm actually short, so let's just do a quick PO. All right, and then I can mystical for time walk, and we have lethal. Um, yeah, so if my opponent had gone, like, why'd they keep a Narc Amoeba, too? So they could have had Mind Break Trap in their hand and griefed me. Wait, no. No, 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 sorry, never mind. They had, uh, one black card. But there's no reason to keep Narc Amoeba when you can keep Mind Break Trap. I think we're supposed, I think we're supposed to lose this game, but we got lucky. I think simply keeping Mind Break Trap could have been a misclick. Could easily have been a misclick. Could easily have been a misclick for sure. All right, I'm going to board out Narset on the draw. And maybe we'll board in. Never mind. All my cards suck. Yeah, I'm not really sure what happened. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know. Um, hands terrible. All again, they kept their seven card hand. It's not good for the home team. This could be good for the home team. I think. So if I snag a Moxin, I could really get them by balancing. But I think I'm rather just. I'd rather just go for the jailer. I do still want a Moxin so that I can hold Fluster up, but. I am pretty bad against a uh, hollow one in this set setup. If this was a Moxin, I would consider keeping the balance, but. Oh, they hit no dredger. Do they have a hollow one? They have a grief. I mean, I have to just force it. They have two grief. <laughs> and they have double bridge. All right, I guess we lose. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter, I guess. Hell. <laughs> I think they're going to... Th oh, they're going to therapy my ruby. Okay. I think I need to draw a needle off the top. Yeah, I mean, they kept seven and I died. It's, that's sound. That's pretty much every bizarre hand, right? Just yeah, I kind of need to hit exactly needle right now, um, and then we have to maybe ancestral. 
That sucks. There's just nothing I could do. I kept a good six card hand with a forest, and my opponent just had bizarre double grief and then found a found a Golgari Grave Troll. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Just absolutely no counterplay for me. Kind of need to hit a Tormod script now. Uh, that's pretty good. Do I play it now? Not gonna stop Icarid. Yeah, I better save life, I guess. I mean, yeah, the fact that their thought, the fact that their unmask gave them, uh, Gave them four zombies or what? Our two zombies was pretty rough. They also, you know, hit the one grave troll off of their first dredge. So I don't know, man. They haven't hit any Icarids yet. I don't know if they boarded them out or something. Honestly, if I hit a a, a Tormod script before they find Icarid. They just naturally draw? What's happening? No, they returned Shambling Shell? No, they discarded Grave Troll? I think they just naturally drew. I mean, this Tabernacle might beat my opponent if they, like, boarded out Icarus or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I think they naturally drew. I can't really, t trying to draw to Wasteland, maybe. Cheering Fanatic. Yeah, I don't know why you would use your Cabal Therapy when you have, all right. Thormod Scripts, anybody is? P.O. Yeah, classic. Classic. I mean, if they boarded out Icarids, they might be trying to draw into Wasteland. I don't know why you would ever board out Icarid. But if they did actually board out Icarid, then it makes sense for them to try to draw into Wasteland. Have we seen an Icarid this match? I don't know, man. No, Dredge no longer plays Dread Return. It's 2021. <laughs> You've got a Creeping Chills and... And hollow ones and uh, Icarids usually. I think my opponent might have not have any Icarids. Um, which means we may win off the Miser Tabernacle. Let me go look at their last list. So their last list has four Icarids. Uh, and they have two Wastelands and a Strip Mine in the board. Um, uh, but they could have boarded them out. They only have three Grief in their list, and they had two in their opener. That's not good. Uh, no Icarid still on this dredge. Are you naturally drawing here to find a Wasteland? It looks like they're naturally drawing to find- They found two Icarids! Why are they not just dredging? They just found two Icarids! The game is over. Why- What, what are we doing? I'm just dead. I don't understand. Why are, you, why are we getting my hopes up? All right, I need a Tormod script. Right now. Tormod script right now. It's too late. You're, you're a turn too late. <laughs> Super sad. So I have to avoid a Treeping Chill here. To live. They only have one shield left in their deck. I can't believe they have Icarids and they were not just hard dredging for them. So crazy. Okay, this is still can be a win if they miss on their fourth chill and I hit Tormod script. 
A Tormod's Crypt could still win me this game. Uh, yeah. It's just Tormod script or way to find Tormod script. Um, I'm gonna fetch. There's not very hits. Demonic, Ancestral, Brainstorm. Um, two Tormod's Crypts, really. Repeal. My Jailer got... Double griefed on turn one. Oh, missing Moxon. <laughs> How unlucky can I be? <laughs> I can't believe they just didn't melt through Icarus. I'm so confused. They went with one Icarid. What if I had a fatal push? Nah, I don't know. They had Wasteland in. Uh, in Mox Opal, man. How did I lose the Ruby? Oh, because they went, they went fair, they went double grief therapy, right off of double bridge. This whole, the losing my Ruby on turn one was what ended up losing us this game. Just so sad. So sad. Yeah, my opponent with the double, yeah, double, double grief, double bridge therapy, take my ruby, take my jailer, take my force. I think we win this game, honestly, if we draw the demonic before the repeal and just get the Tormod script. Matt, why did you naturally draw in the middle of this game? Why didn't you just dredge to find Icarus? I was so confused. Also, why did we pitch Mindbreak Trap that other game? <laughs> I don't think you were I don't think you were supposed to lose game two. I think you were supposed to win game two. I think you beat me you should have beat me 0 3 0 here, if I if I had to guess. Anyways, that was brutal. Drawing the demonic after we repeal and just don't have the mana to cast it because our moxin is not metal graphy. Very brutal. Okay, here we go. Round four. Or, sorry, round five. Mox Emerald Vintage Eternal Weekend. My hand... No bueno. I mean, I have a brainstorm. 
but is that really enough to be keeping it? I'm not sure. I think my opponent's also on Tinker. Like, if I have to force something on turn one, my hand immediately turns pretty bad. But the Brainstorm could be quite good. I don't know. I think it's just too many bad cards. I think I'm going to mulligan. This looks, I guess. This doesn't really look better. But I guess we have spells. Ah, this is not that much better. I really don't like this hand either. I might go to five. I'm going to go to five. All right, I'm fucked. What can I say? <laughs> uh, I guess I would rather have an opal than this many lands. Oh, these hands are all bad. I should just kept my first hand. What's my opponent playing? Doomsday? Uh, yikes. Big yikes in my book. Brainstorm in the main phase on turn one. Resting. Would my seven have been good against Doomsday? Possibly. Oh, what? Not Doomsday. Wait, what the hell is happening? Oh, this is the guy who plays Street Wraiths in P.O. Ah, yes. I remember this chatter now. Uh, they're usually in the in the Discord saying P P.O. should play Street Wraiths. I mean, they might beat me here, and then they'll get to tell me off and tell me how much better Street Wraith was. No, 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 Slasher, this is the, the P.O. Uh, Street Wraith guy. Remember? You remember that argument? I remember that argument. Nothing makes your Citadel deck better than adding four or five drops into it. I mean, I'm dead right now, so what can I say? I'm gonna kick my ass. Brainstorm into Ponder Shuffle? Interesting. Hey, brainstorm into Ponder Shuffle. I mean, all they need is a land PO, right? Mismatching. No, not mismatching. Regular street. Yeah, I found a Sapphire PO here. Saga as well. Interesting. I mean, they're just going to kill me with a PO, right? Are they going to repeal? This is like pretty good value, I think. I don't assume they don't have it. Repeal your repeal, 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 repeal. Ooh, Drew Force. Okay. I think we're winning now. Thought Cast. Oh, right. They have Street Wraith and Thought Cast in their deck. I forgot. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting. Got it. All right, I'm going to get an Ancestral. <laughs> okay, that's not really good draws. Not great. Not great. They're at very low life total, though, from their Street Wraiths and Mana Crypts, so maybe we can mentor them out. We do have to beat a Saga, which could be challenging if they find, like, a Manifold Key. They found Tinker. It's a good one to find. Two Sagas. Okay. Yeah. You do have to maximize for Citadel. I disagree. I disagree so much. I think making your deck be an efficient Citadel deck is really important. Okay, well, now I feel like I'm going to snap Ancestral. Well, am I going to snap Ancestral or should I just mentor so I don't die? I'm going to die. This is going to find a, a Sensei's top and we're going to be in trouble. And this sucks. I think this saga is going to beat me. I kind of agree. I'm going to snap P.O. 
Or Snap Ancestral, I mean. I need to try to fight Fine Tinker, I think. Okay. This 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 saga's shit, and I'm fucking god. What can I say? Dressed out in OP. <laughs> uh... Saga's shit card dressed down much better. <laughs> that, I mean, Saga finding uh, Sensei's top is still very good here. For what it's worth. Yep. I kind of want to just draw like a mana crypt so I could go like dress down, pick it back up or something. I don't know. Because I'm going to have to like pass the turn and hold open dress down and wait for them to use more mana probably. And I still probably have to pitch this PO to like the PO they draw. Uh, I'm going to just take six, I think, though. Is Oko's played in Bug and Bant? And Oath. Yes, Bug, Bant, and Oath. True. Um, so many lands, dude. So many lands. All right. I'm going to be doing this on my end step. I should have probably done it in response. Dress down so good. This card's so good. Man, I love killing Saga tokens. It is by far one of my favorite things. <laughs> oh, I forgot they got to tinker away their mana crypt. That's pretty broken. Game's still winnable. It's gonna be tough though. I mean, they have like POs and stuff they can draw. Ooh, my opponent did not realize my dress down is still in play. You like to see that? Free two mana. Uh, no, because my opponent could have hard cast a force of will with their remaining mana. So I do not think that I was supposed to dress down on their turn. They do have a way to untap this vault now. Looks like they found the PO, of course. Or are they going to go for double draw off top? They're going to go for double draw off top. I might force this top. Honestly. They didn't spin, right? This is a blind. Mm, I don't think I'm allowed to force this top, to be honest. I don't think I can. I think I have to hold for a PO. Can I, can I can I force this top? I don't think I can force this top. <laughs> what are these draws? Um, do I want a merchant scroll for next turn? Probably. 
Wait, I don't even have targets for Merchant Scroll. I have Ancestrals gone, Repeals gone. I actually don't think I want a Merchant Scroll. I guess Pio is still fine, and it's another blue card. So... I think I'm just going to take it. And I'm going to shuffle away after. Uh, let me think about... Yeah, I think if I just play two Moxin on this turn... That should give me the best chance of winning. I will have a spell no matter what. Okay, I mean, I basically have to beat, I don't know. I have to hope they don't have a Fluster, I guess. But how can you fit Fluster in your deck if you have Street Wraiths and Thought Caps? I don't know. I'm sure there's still Fluster Storms in the deck. Uh, Yeah, we could get Brainstorm, yeah. yeah Brainstorm, is, I think, is the last good other instant in our deck. I mean, simply POing back Opal is probably lethal as well. So I don't think it matters too, too much. I'm definitely going to fetch away, though. Should be very lethal here. They're at 8. Like, I have to hope they don't have too many good things here. Okay, it looks like they're going for a PO. I have to just hope they don't have a counter spell. They go with this PO. If they PO without using this top, okay, at least that means they're not, they don't have one floating that they can grab. I mean, they've had us top for a couple turns. It's pretty likely they're going to find something. I, I think they have Fluster, but what can I do, really? Maybe they'll find a bunch of Street Wraiths or something. Oh, they have Force pitching blue card. Okay, I mean, go off, homie. Oh no, it's definitely not good in PO. <laughs> it's definitely not, but it doesn't really matter very much. The PO shell is pretty compact. It can do powerful things. Looks like we're dead. I'm gonna let them play it out. I'm gonna see. I think they play tendrils as their kill, I would assume, but who knows? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Street Race is going to win this P.O. Mirror right now, guys. Come on. Honestly, I feel like we were pretty lucky to be in this game at all. Um, the Force of Will draw off of the repeal was quite key. We got pretty lucky on our set of draws, I think. Like, we, our draws were pretty bad. Like, the Island Island Mox Mox draws were not good. But, like, the Dress Down Force of Will Force of Will draws were very good. So... Like, we played this game as a blue, uh, as an Esper control deck. We countered some things, we dressed down, wiped their entire board, and we played a Monastery Mentor. But uh, it just so happens they found the PO on the last turn with Force back up. Again, I just want to see what they're doing here. Like, I guess they would probably PO into a Vault Key combo. Um, I don't know. I'm going to make them play it out, though. Do I own all my power and paper? Yeah, I own I own Paradox Lockup and paper.
I could they could just have um you know Citadel Yug Citadel. Hard casting the Street Wraith would kill me with infinite turns. I have a, a Swamp in play. I'm gonna make them kill me. I think. Um, I'm willing to make this one be played out. Oh, Breacher's are such an annoying card. I don't like Oh Breacher. Vampy. I assume that's a vault. Ancestral in the vault, I assume. I don't know what they have. I have no idea. Their deck is a complete mystery to me, so I'm down to let them play it out. Until they show me a lethal kill. No, they don't have Thought Monitor there. Oh, okay, they're going to Street Wraith. Okay, I mean... Did my opponent not take the turn? Or did they take the turn? I think they misclicked through the turn. Yeah, I think they misclicked through the turn. Alright, well then they're going to die. I mean, um, what am I supposed to do? I was... <laughs> When, I'm going to be completely honest with you. When they were going to go to their next turn, I was going to concede because they had lethal. I was going to concede because they had Street Wraith infinite turns. And <laughs> I don't know, man. All right, I'm going to bring in Flusterstorm. I'm going to take out Island and I'm going to hit go. Wow. Yeah, we jamming. This is the hand that loses to turn one tinker. Street Wraith Infinite Turns is pretty funny. I do like that. I do, I do like the, the hard cast Street Wraith unblockable take infinite turns, though. That's pretty sweet. Maybe I shouldn't be fetching Underground see, unless I have to. I'm sure they had another Saga in their deck that they probably could have used. Oh, they had the... Well, if they can like stack a couple turns, they can use the key. Shuffle off of Ponder? That's not a good sign for them. I'd like a, an Opal here. That was pretty good, too. Do people play Time Twister? Yeah, usually you play a Time Twister in your whole Breacher deck. If my opponent forces this, do I really counter back? Not sure. Doesn't matter now. I think we're just going to win.
I would play it. If I was crazy and played four Paul Breachers, I would also play Time Twister in my deck. Yeah, this balance is terrible, obviously, but I don't know. I guess I could have worded like a Hercules in or something. Yeah, it's not a combo, but if I didn't have a mentor, it could have been fine getting their whole hand or something. I'm not like thrilled about it. But uh, it's fine. I've drawn so many lands this game, or not, like just in these last two games. Many islands. I could still see losing this game, like my opponent. Tinker, Fluster, backup. I guess maybe not Fluster, backup. Academy. It's Fluster pretty far out of reach. Yogmoth's will. I really don't want that to resolve. I could hard cast Force, but I think it's bad because my opponent can easily have Fluster here. Um, I don't want to Fluster them because I can't make a high enough Storm count. Looks like they have their own hard cast for us. I didn't play around that very well. But I wouldn't have been able to fluster back anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, they actually alternate cast for us, so... I think I'm going to lose this game. <laughs> Pretty sure we're dead here. Ponder into PO into time walk. I really needed to draw my own PO on my turn. Like, if I had drawn my own PO instead of an island, then I might have been able to kill my opponent, but I just have drawn nothing that mattered. Obviously, this balance was pretty bad. Um, I could have taken it out for something. I don't know. Maybe a Hercules or a Needle or something. I don't think those would have mattered very... Well, I guess Hercules would have mattered a little bit here. Counter the PO. It'll be better on the uh it'll be better on the play. Yeah, I mean it was only turn two. Can't have more really have any more lands. Unless I had drawn the opal like I asked for. It's not going very well. I don't know. Maybe our deck is just shit. Demonic Tinker or Demonic PO or something. Tinker White Mana Crypt, maybe. Demonic Lotus Hardcast Citadel. Yeah, I play three. This is still a little risky. My opponent's at 10. They can't really afford to miss. Repeal a token is pretty nice. going to make it really hard for them to lose, I think. Mm, no Whifferinos here. Street Wraith is a real bad one to hit off of Citadel right now. I can tell you that much. Looks like they found a PO, though, which is a good one to hit. Like, imagine you're in this situation and your top card is Street Wraith. Like, you might lose the game because of it. It's a non-negligible cost. <sighs> Maybe we'll play a different deck. Problem is, I have no idea what deck I would want to play. 
all the other decks just didn't really seem like they would be for me. Like, I like playing Squee Hollow Vine, but I'm not going to play Squee Hollow Vine in a field where everyone's playing four Hall Breachers. That just sounds like a not a, not a good time for me. Maybe some Maharu Oath. Maharu Oath could be pretty good in this metagame. Maybe not, though. I mean, I could just play Dredge. I feel like it's a pretty reasonable metagame for Dredge. I don't really like playing the Hate Bear style decks that don't have a lot of agency. I think I would play Green White over um, Bant Archon or Mono White. I like the Green White list. I just couldn't figure it out. Hey, man. I don't know. I'll have to start thinking about it, though, because I kind of feel like I'm going to end up after this round two, three. Like, so my tech, my, like, my balance tech and my dress down tech all worked exactly as I wanted, but I just, like... Got high rolled by Tinker, got high rolled by Dredge, which the balance and dress down tech don't do anything against. And then this is just PO mirror. It's just how it works. I mean, Hole Breacher is a much, much worse card than Narsa. It's like not remotely close. I think Narsa is like leagues above Hole Breacher. It's not really like the, the Narsa effect that's like, it's the combination of Narsa being a planeswalker. The Narset stopping people from drawing and the Narset being double dig through time or whatever. I don't, don't really give a shit about but Flash. Whatever. Like, Hole Breacher dies to Lightning Bolt and Swords of Plashers and all of those things. Um, I think Hole Breacher is like not even close to the same level as Guard as, 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 uh, as Narset. I really don't think my opponent is going to be able to kill me twice in five minutes, but that's kind of something that you run into when you play like a Vault Key PO deck. It can definitely happen. Uh, and it's not the fastest deck to play. And if you don't have a lot of practice online with it, it can be pretty challenging to finish in time. Oh, five. 5 Like, it's not a league, it's not a challenge. This is Eternal Weekend. Like, I'd make a Jeskai player beat me as well. There are 10 cards in Library, like... I don't know exactly what the plan is, but. Yeah, that's about where I'm at right now, Wamba. <laughs> Been a rough one. Did you play? I didn't see you. Oh, look at you. Hmm, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Could be doing great, could be doing poorly. No one will ever know. Too smart. Yeah, our opponent's playing Urza. I mean, they're playing Urza Saga Volt Key. That's the real win con, but. I liked Hull Breacher in Supreme Draft. I thought it was perfectly reasonable. I was pretty mad when they uh, got rid of it. So my opponent has five cards in hand. 
if they sack everything, I'm not convinced they can kill me. Like, they have to vault kill me. Like, this Street Wraith, they only have four cards in their library. Like, this doesn't kill me in four turns. Well, it might kill me in four turns because of Mana Crypt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess they only need two two artifacts. All right, so I guess they have it. Two turns and then a, a, a two attacks and then a, an activation of Citadel. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like theoretically Miharu Oath is a good call tonight, but. I'm actually, I don't think even if my opponent had one game one, I think they would have timed out anyways. Is a Grim Monolith in this deck? Interesting. I'm pretty sure even if they had one game one, they wouldn't have been able to win in time because they had to attack me like uh, eight times or something in game one. <laughs> it might actually be faster now to uh, attack twice with Street Wraiths. Six times? Yeah, it would have been pretty close, to be honest. It might be faster to attack twice with Street Wraiths than it would be to activate Citadel here. Not really sure. Uh, maybe not. They can hit F6 in this upkeep and it goes straight to combat. And there's a lot of little tricks to get faster on Magic Online. They won with one card in library. It's kind of, kind of gasoline, actually. They did have four sagas in their deck. Interesting. Um, yeah. Thirty seconds. I don't think they would have been able to attack me six times in thirty seconds. So I, I honestly think they would have timed out, even if they hadn't misclicked. Um, which is. I don't know if that makes you feel better or worse as a player. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's part of playing the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I when I say attack six times, I mean six vault key activations and six everything that has to do with a turn. rough games all right still chugging away here round six of this vintage uh, eternal weekend event we're up against no props no props is a 
Uh, Bazaar of Baghdad Master, though it says their last seen deck was Esper. I know they got two trophies recently with two different Bazaar decks, so could be any kind of Bazaar deck. This hand is just not very good against Bazaar. I'm going to mulligan it. Um, this hand's fine, I guess. Keep it. Yep. So is it Squee or is it Gak? I think it's going to be Squee, if I had to guess. I don't really know what my game plan is going to be because they don't really work super well together. So it is Squee. Really rough. Really rough. It's a tough matchup. That's kind of an interesting one. Pretty sure we're starting there. Maybe we'll go Ancestral. Maybe we'll go... Lotus. Go Vamp Ancestral. Okay, I guess I do not get a turn. Do not pass go. Do not collect one additional turn. You get to bring back a Master of Death as well. Probably not great for me. Yeah, I think Squee is very good against the Tinker decks for sure. Unless they're playing like the Four Hall Breacher decks could be pretty annoying to play against from the Squee side. One free root walla, one master to the yard, and a wasteland. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I wanted to fetch underground sea, right? Maybe I didn't. Hmm. Maybe I should have fetched basic island. I don't know. I kind of wanted to fetch underground sea, underground sea, to be honest. I really don't know what my game plan moving forward here is going to be. Like, my opponent's going to continue getting card advantage with their master of death. I can't really afford to fetch my Underground Sea right now because I can easily get Wastelanded again. But, like, what am I going to vamp for then? Doesn't really seem good for me. This was maybe a huge mistake. Maybe I just needed to get a Basic Island off that. But then I couldn't upkeep Vamp for Ancestral, which is what I think my plan was going to be. So I found two Squeeze and kept a Master, which means they have a Force. This matchup is so horrific to play. Really hate it. Really, really dislike it. They found another Wasteland. I think I'm going to fetch and play a Dress Down and try to find... I'm not going to do it on my... I'm going to see if I can, like... Get my way into a mentor or something seems like the best avenue. I'm not gonna do it on Insta. I'm okay with it dying. Ah, this game just looks unwinnable. This matchup's so bad. <laughs> Didn't want to see this matchup ever. Like I know they have a force in their hand too, because they kept a master of death in their hand, and now they're gonna be drawing additional cards every turn. It's just over. Yeah. Not much I could have done. I'd say maybe fetch Island the first time, but yeah, it's game one. We have some good cards post board, but I don't think we have enough good cards to make this matchup feel playable. My opponent's deck is just extremely good at what we're trying to do. Like, we're not even a saga deck where like the wastelands are great against us, but when our hand is all three black spells, pretty bad. Let this go. I think the way I win the game is find a mentor and resolve a mentor. Like draw Black Lotus. Demonic. That's interesting. It might give me some time, but... I don't think this is super good, because I know they had a master, but... Like, they're still going to outdraw me, like, horrifically with this bizarre two squee plan, but... Oh, they have double force. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. 
So I do think that like, there are ways out of this game. I think Black Lotus is the best one because Black Lotus would let me go Demonic, Yogwill, Mentor or something like that. Like a Mentor seems like my best way out of this game. This just the matchup is like really, really bad. And th these draws were not good against them. I don't think it was like mulliganable because I felt like the hand was pretty reasonable. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's go next here. I don't even think balance technically gets you out of that game because they just have so much draw power. So we get to do some fun things like Jailer, Needle, Sphinx, Crypts, Tabernacle, maybe Flusterstorm, maybe Saga. And we get to board out, like, all these dress downs are terrible. This Hercules recall is terrible. Um, an island is typically not necessary. I know they wastelanded me there. Um, like, I really hate having all of the flusters and stuff. Misstep is pretty bad. Snapcaster is pretty bad. Gonna keep in repeal because we saw Chalice. Gonna keep in Narset, especially on the play. I think I'm just gonna go not fluster, not saga. I think that's fine. Yeah, I like the look at that. Like we did get some nice tools here. Six pieces of Draper hate, varying degrees of success. They do different things in different situations. Both are pretty good. Jailer is like very, very good. Um Though no props has been in the stream, so no props knows the list. We'll probably keep in Furies to kill Mentor Jailer, so. It's tough. It's just a really, really hard matchup. Really rough. Not the matchup you want to see when you play PO. Okay, let's try again. On the play, we've got... Uh, yeah. That's a no-go. Fortunately. This one's not bad, though. This one's quite good. I don't know exactly know how I'm sequencing this hand, to be perfectly honest with you. I honestly have just no clue what I'm going to do with this hand. My opponent kept a seven card hand again. So the problem is I'm like super weak to vigor and trap. And I can't really force because I want to use my ancestral. I mean, the hand's really good, but I feel like if they just have the right answer, it's just going to be really hard for us. Like, I can't actually force back if they have Vigor here. They didn't have Vigor. Okay, well, I'm going to crack this and play an Ancestral then. Can't believe we got out of that without a Vigor or a Force. Now I feel like we're... We're probably going to win this game by a lot because we have active like, force fluster. I feel good about a game now. I I mean, there is some amount of like opponent can't keep hands. Like opponent's only goal in a hand is to have a bazaar. So if their seven card hand has a bazaar but doesn't have the right pieces of counter magic, they have to keep it. And they're on the draw. So like they can't do anything about it, right? So it can totally happen. Chalice on zero. It's too late. I don't care. And then pass, sure. Like, they can draw into Vigor now, but I don't think it matters at this point. Uh, I'm just going to deploy the Mentor. Yeah, it's just part of the, the, the deck. The deck, like, doesn't let you mulligan to cards that are good in the matchup. You have to mulligan to Bizarre. Which is, you know, an upside and a downside. They have a Maze of Ith for my Sphinx. Very nice. Very nice. 
Um, I guess I'm just going to get my Mentor Mazed. I think we're going to go for an end of turn um, EO, and we'll probably pick up, I don't know, something. Uh, yeah, but most PO decks don't go wide anymore. They go Tinker Target, where I I'm still playing Mentor, or I've just started playing Mentor again, so. Um. I think I'm allowed to pick up Needle here. Yeah, Maze's for Sphinx. I think I'm allowed to pick up Needle here, because I didn't play a Bizarre. I know picking up Jet means it gets counter on the way back down, but I think that's okay. Maze is very good answer against a Tinker creature. So my opponent can have counter magic coming back down here, but we have Fluster Force, so I'm not really worried. I want this game to end. I guess I can get trapped. Uh, how many of these do I want to use? At least the jet. Slasher, I honest to God think that deck is just a 4-2 deck. I don't know. I need to cast three spells next turn. Might be tough. Like, it's powerful, but it's also just a pile. All right, so... Sapphire... I like how I played this game. I don't think I would have picked up Needle if they had played Zar earlier, but they didn't, so... Um, does it matter what I do here? It just doesn't matter, right? Okay. Um... Interesting game. The benefit of being on the play was very nice there. Would I make any changes? Not necessarily. Yeah, I probably would have just picked up my jet, though. So I don't think it changes too, too much. Maybe it was even greedy for me to put pick up the needle. I could, I could see it being maybe it was too greedy. It just felt like it was right to me, just in my head. But maybe that, that could easily not be true. Maybe I'm just too cautious. Or not too cautious. Maybe I'm too... What is the word? Is a turn two Jailer going to be good enough? I feel like I have to. Hmm. Mulliganed at least once here. Yeah, it's possible that was too greedy. 
But we had Force Fluster, right? I guess if my opponent had drawn, like, exactly Mind Break Trap, plus another thing, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know I tend to be, like, very, way more aggressive than the average vintage player, I think, but... I do a lot of things on feeling. That is going to be... So... Oh, we're so dead. Yeah, I mean... Jesus Christ. Yeah, missteps, yeah. All right, well, I don't know. We've just gotten absolutely rolled today. I should probably have forced this hollow one, but I want... Yeah, I killed it quick. Uh, I should have forced the hollow one, but didn't. I don't even know what series of draws gets me here. Uh, I actually had turn one Jailer. Hate this game. So I need to find Tabernacle off of the Wander. I mean, I bet they have force backup, like. I mean, I am technically not dead. I mean, my turn one ended up being Jailer Narset against Hollowvine, which is like way more than you could ever ask for. <laughs> my opponent just activated into a Narset, so they're just going to pitch three cards here. Like, this is so... So good against my opponent's what the opponent has going on, but not what I'm on the draw. My opponent might lose off of this punt, to be honest. They had to pitch a force of well. Like, they don't have active force anymore. I think they had force the whole time. I'm not going to lie. I think they had blue card force the whole time. We have outs here. It also depends on what they attack as well. If they just attack Narset with anything, then I probably don't block. It doesn't matter much. I kind of need this to hit, like, Moxon. Like, I think I took PO because I wanted to make sure my Jailer resolved so I got to another turn. It also gave me a win condition if I drew a Moxon. But I think I like the way I played it. Let's see if this all goes face. I guess it could all go face and this could go at Narset. No props missed it? Yeah, I mean, no props is human. Well, I, I block if it keeps Narset alive, or I block if it keeps me alive. I'm at 11. They have 13 power. Um, I mean, them pitching their force of will might win us this game. We have to draw well off the top, though. They had double force trap. Yeah, it was probably a greedy pickup on the needle. I kind of agree, but I did it anyways, I guess.
<laughs> uh, I, I don't really disagree, so. I don't know. I, I, it just depends on how they attack. I'm not really going to think about it until I see their attacks, to be honest. Like, number one priority is I have to live to the next turn. Number two priority is keeping a Narsa in play, probably. And number three priority is keeping a Jailer in play. I would assume. Because this Narset needs me to find... I need, I need to find... They're going two at me, two at Narset. All right. Well, the Narset can't live, and I will always live. So I guess I just keep the Jailer alive. Um... It's unfortunate, because I really... Now I need to hit, like, a Moxin. That's not an Opal, probably. But attack makes sense from them. Like, the Narset's probably more important than the Jailer. So... Can't keep this alive. Don't see any reason to block. The only reason I could block is if I wanted to, like, draw into balance. Which would be reasonable, but kind of... think too much. So I guess if I technically, if I take this, well, I can always pick this up with PO for an extra draw, which is probably relevant. I do need to draw Mox in to actually cast PO though. So yeah, okay, you got it. So okay, that's their last card. So they didn't have blue card for us. All right, so my out is draw a Mox in. Non opal. Non opal moxin. Non opal moxin. Can't even do a tabernacle now, unfortunately. I'm just not running very hot today. They punted, but it just didn't matter. I guess technically I punted game two and it didn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm running very hot. I feel like we've had a lot of opportunities, but they just don't draw the things we need. Don't have the metal craft again. It's the second time we didn't have metal craft and lost the game because we didn't have metal craft. I even cut a land in this matchup. Mm. I don't know. I don't think my deck is bad, but I just don't have the things I need to win. All right, here we go. Uh, we're now in round seven. In the 3-3 bracket up against here you. And this hand's reasonable against like non bizarre. Probe, F6. We even have the, the very powerful Sapphire Brainstorm uh, Fetch Land. Uh oh. Doomsday. Oh, Deathrite Shaman. All right, sweet. Let's play against some bug. I like playing against bug. I guess I can get uh, dazed if I do it this way. So let's play out. Hmm. Could have gotten dazed, I guess. Oh. Late. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think I like casting turn one Tinker, to be honest. I don't really want to get Vigored. I don't even think I'm playing my Mox in this turn. 
Maybe I'll play one Moxon. Hmm. We play flusters, we play forces. We play negations. I don't think we jam there. I also don't think I'm supposed to play out box in there and right ooh. Yeah. I also don't think we like jam this mox in and then get vigored. I think that would be pretty bad. They know, they don't know this three. I guess we could get Leovolted here, but again, I have Dress Down, so it's not the hugest deal. I don't think jamming is good. I am a little upset I gave them a land, but... I'm almost certainly playing an end of turn dress down no matter what the circumstances on board. Okay. off this off this resting that's this kind of makes it read like oh you're too late you can't oh oh interesting that's totally fine it again. I don't think they have it, but I just want a counter spell, like one counter spell. Can't find one. I could just pick this up with PO. How much mana do I have? Seven? That's a good number. I don't think, I think they have a counter spell is what I think they have. Can't pick this up, right? How does that work? It would work badly for me, right? It would gain, I don't think I would draw. That resolves? I guess they just had nothing the whole time. I still don't feel bad about the way I played this, so. Dress Down is so good, chat. Dress Down is an unreal magic card. I probably should have killed my Opal instead, actually. Bug is not a good deck. I agree with that statement. Uh, I 
guess I don't want that because I have a dress down in play. I will just go for a PO kill. Go for a double citadel. I don't know. Dress down is just the most insane magic card. It's so good. Crazy. Sure. Yeah, I guess I forgot about that happening. Whatever. Uh, I guess I could do that too. Just, I mean, I have I need to do that. Just P. Need to crack it and to go here. Well, mentor doesn't work because I have a dress down in play. I mean, I could just like I think the easiest way to do this is to just sack ten Yogwell sack ten. To be perfectly honest, I don't know. I find that very easy. I know some people don't find that very easy, but I've done it so many times at this point. Yeah, at that point, I have to like play Mentor, pick up Dress Down, uh, then play a bunch of things, and then Time Walk. Like It's kind of similar. It doesn't really matter what I choose to do. I'm, I'm very, very... I like just doing the Citadel line. It doesn't take an extra turn, but both ways work fine. Uh, we're going to bring in Fatal Push, Sphinx of the Steel Wind, um, Needle maybe, maybe Saga. I don't really like Saga against Bug that much. It's fine, but kind of... Not really with the game plan. Like I already have all of these other better options. I don't really like Needle that much either, to be honest. Might just be Flusters and Hercules for removal. I hate Tendrils. You can't make me register Tendrils. Like, I can technically take out Opal Po here, but I don't really feel the need to anymore because I just have so many answers to Collector Roof. I don't really feel like it's necessary. Yeah, I watched Brian's video. I don't think Tendrils is like unplayable by any means. I just feel like I would rather have good cards in my deck. Like, you can totally play Tendrils. I just like Tendrils is a dead draw most of the time. Well, you don't need Fluster for Vigor when you don't have Stars of Saga. Like, it's not a huge deal. Play Steals for Golos. No, no, no. I actually don't think Saga is like good against Bug. It just makes their, like, Force of Vigor actually good. I don't bring in Saga against Bug. Not my game plan. Like, once you start playing Sagas, then you actually care about Vigor, and then you have to bring in more Flusters. I really don't like it. Yeah, but it wasn't in my main deck. To hand of Magic the Gathering cards. If I was whitelisted slasher, I wouldn't be 3-3. Three, three. They're gonna play turn one collector for sure. No, not turn one collector. Now I kinda have to play around Buster, I guess. I think Slasher's deck's, like, kind of bad, but whatever works for Slasher. I really think Slasher should play Golos, honestly, God. I think Slasher would probably do really well. I think Acast is not very good. A fan. Not exactly what I was looking for.
I think that, I mean, it, it's been crashing in win rate, like, over consistently over the last three weeks, Slasher. The more people play the deck, the lower the win rate gets, because the deck's just not that good. It had a really high start with a couple of good pilots, but, like, the deck is just not that good. Like, the last event where people played Thought Cast, or played 8 Cast, they went 1 in 14. There were there were three pilots and you all did not get any wins. It's just an all in deck that like hopes it works out. Like Should I just get a Sphinx here? What if they just have Vigor? I'm gonna get Citadel just so they can have Vigor and Slasher can, like... Fucked. I'm pretty sure it's you're supposed to get Sphinx there. This is why Slasher can't play Dex you need thinking, though. I okay, guess it's fine. Does, does any of this matter? I didn't have a blue card though. I could miss on blue cards. That's just I've just factually inaccurate. <laughs> I could just easily miss on blue cards. I feel like you haven't failed enough to, uh, citadels. But yeah, this game is over, but it, they could have had Force of Vigor and my top three cards have been zero blue cards and I would not have been able to keep my cards alive. Is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, there are scenarios where my top three cards get me killed. It didn't happen, because it's a low probability of happening. But it could have happened. I still don't have enough mana to um, pick up my... I have been trying to get enough mana to PO, and I just have not been able to find enough mana. <laughs> Maybe I should have just gone like snap time walk. Possible. Every fucking play won there, Slasher, because you flipped a blue card off the top three. Like, Sphinx also probably wins there. Like, I don't know, man. Why don't you try to like minimize your chances of losing? Like, eliminate bad outcomes. Maybe this is why you always lose two matches. Dressdown does stop Mentor from making tokens. I can just pick up the Dressdown at any point, though. Hiru had an answer for Sphinx? Yikes. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Round eight of nine. Nope. These hands are so bad. Um... I guess. Sure. Holy moly, these hands have been something else. I guess we can like vamp for uh, mana crypt and then we can go. Oh, it's mono white. Okay. Well, Mentor might just single handedly beat mono white. Oh, maybe not now. Because now they can play Thalia. 
Oxins are very important. Or, well, they don't have a Lurus, so maybe they have an Archon. That'd be pretty bad. <laughs> yes, this is the best. This is how you build Mono White. Keep it in mind, chat. Turn one Archon is the play. Oh, I win. I'm getting misstepped. <laughs> okay, well. And Archon is so good. I, I I just I think this is the single best way to build mono white. There's four archons. See if I get wastelanded here. Didn't get wastelanded, that's pretty lucky. See what their follow up play is. Yeah. So I can't fetch a, a white source here. Um, yeah, I, I guess I should have done that. I don't know. A little tired, I guess. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Mystical for a balance and then hope it works. Yeah, it's the good version of Mono White, the one that plays turn one Archon. <laughs> okay, can't. I think if they just don't have a, a Wasteland, then I can maybe go for a balance and it'll be okay. Oh, I, I'm really losing it. I have to play like 10 more rounds tonight. We're fucked. It's all over. I really like the way I built my deck with dress downs and balance. Yeah, I'm going to stream all three events. But the third event, there's a significant time between the second and third events, so I'm not too worried about the third event. I'm more worried about the next event. And I'm also worried about getting data. Uh, <laughs> I swear to God, if they just fucking play a ghost quarter after this, I'm going to be so mad. I do think Luminarch is good. Yes. I also think Archon is good. I just differ on how I would build this. So why would we play this if we don't have a follow-up Wasteland or Ghost Quarter when you know you're going to get balanced? Doesn't seem like it makes sense to me. Night name. Thanks. Um, I think we're going to leave open the end of... No, I should have held this for the Mentor. I don't think leaving end of turn dress down is better. Because it's not going to be good with Mentor. Maybe it's still fine just because I want a cantrip anyways. Wow, that's, a, that's unfortunate, Grim. 
I like to hear that. Want everyone to play all these Hurdle Weekend they can. Okay. Strip mine. Wow, I'm lucky they drew this one turn too late. Another Archon? Oh, search. Okay. They strip mine me. I think I'm going to just dress down. Oh, if they hit Tundra, it's really bad for me, but they probably are supposed to hit C. They don't know that, I don't think. So they might hit Tundra after getting balanced. That's pretty rough. Next Eternal Weekend starts in two hours and 40 minutes. All right, so let's see if we can chain this into like a PO combo maybe. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. Might just still die anyways. Too many dead draws. I'm gonna go for another end of turn dress down. Five life. Yeah, I mean the strip mine hitting the tundra, I don't think is what I would do in the blind, but it definitely works against my mentor draw. I'm just pretty much lucky that they didn't have strip mine for tundra before I balanced. So Yeah, okay. All right, well, um, again, like I can draw Moxin into PO and I feel like I'm in a good spot, but I do have to draw action. Press down is great here again, but I don't, I need follow up action. Okay, found the opal. Found the tinker. Dope. Um, I'm at five life. And there's an archon in play. Circles will bake me one mana, one colorless mana. I just have to tinker and hope my top cards are all insane. Well, I should probably just start by casting Hercules. Because after I put a Citadel in play, it's not good. You can F6 opponent, you have no place. Why are we why are we clicking through all of my stuff? Alright. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna put a citadel in play and hope it works out. I have five life to work with. It's not very much. <sighs> That's exactly what I need, but I need more mana. I need more mana because I need to balance this board away. I don't need more mana, I guess. I can you go to one life, but I need a white source. I have a tundra, so that should actually just do it. Um, I think this just does it. Though they're at zero cards in hand, I'm going to lose my mentor and my ancestral. I'm going to lose my... Sorry, I'm going to lose my... I'm going to lose my mentor and my ancestral... Can I win instead? I think I messed up here. I was too tent too all in on casting balance. I should have put the PO in my hand and not the Yagwil. Or sorry, not the Ancestral. Emerald, Tundra, Balance. Fucked up.
I wanted this ancestral to be below, because then I wouldn't have been able. To, well, I wouldn't have been able to cast it because I'd be at one. If I cast ancestral, I don't think I'm very likely to resolve Yogwell. I think this is still the play. I lose. I, oh, but can I win the game? No, I can't win the game, though, because I will lose Mentor and Yogwell. I won't have any win cons in my deck. <laughs> I won't have any win cons in my deck. I have a Snapcaster Mage. <laughs> Emerald. I could go Emerald and I could go repeal into Pio. Maybe. But if I ever play my mentor, I can't balance. I really am in trouble. Wait, what if I just go ancestral in response? Is that good? Feel like we risk it for the biscuit? Uh, no, we lose there now. Oh, maybe we can PO combo. I can go Tundra, repeal my Opal. Maybe I can make. I don't think this gets there though. Like, what is the? How do I win the game? We can get dressed down off the battlefield, but then I can't cast any more spells, chat. So it doesn't really help us. I've already cast Yogwill. Let's draw my deck first and figure that out later. I don't think I have 20 permanents to double sack Citadel. If I if I get rid of my dress down, I can't cast anything. Wait, what if I like, <laughs> yeah, I actually think chat, I think you're right. Let's, I thought about that and I think you're right. I think you're right. Ancestral them and then balance. That's fucking wild.
Can I do it now? I just had to ancestral by opponent so I could balance them. What the actual fuck? I guess I didn't play around um, Path to Exile, which I probably should have kept a fluster in my hand to do. So I think I played that kind of poorly. I probably should have left myself with a fluster, but... No, I don't think I saw the line. I, I thought about the line, but I, I think Litz saw the line. I think a little bit of streamer advantage there, to be perfectly honest. Like, I considered the line, but I don't think I thought the line through until I saw it again. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little credit off my back on that one. Because I don't think that I... I don't think I gave the line credit in my head until I saw someone else say it again because I did think about it but I, I kind of um I kind of let it go I think that was the only way to win that game Wow. It was something I considered. Like, I did think that if I balanced, I could save a mentor. But then I just went past it and started thinking about other ways to win and never came back to it. Crazy. Fucking wild, man. Um, I don't think there's 20 permanents. If I, if I think about it, uh, 10. I don't think there are 20 last time I checked, but I, I don't remember for sure. Yeah, P.O. is just not that good. It's a sweet card, and it does cool things, but it's just not that strong in Vintage right now.
I don't get any mentor tokens because of dress down. Whoever said that in chat. I, I the shell is just Tinker Citadel. Tinker Citadel is nuts, but like my opponent has a mind break trap and a ravenous trap and a Thalia and a Luminarch and a Leonian Relic Warder and a Caracas. Okay. See you opponent doing your thing. What are they doing? Do not know. Grim, you gotta get your people in line. Wow, they drew they drew Moxin, so now they can protect their Thalia. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Ah, oh, this is very sad days. I was like, I'll just push their Thalia. No, I won't. Who was I kidding? Feel like this is another time for dress down. Feel like they won't cast Relic Border though. As long as this doesn't, uh, this feels like it just should just work. Come on, play Lumi. Play Lumi. Please play Lumi. Oh wait, this thing can kill my fucking Sphinx. Oh fuck. Well, I have a fatal push for it, so that doesn't really matter, right? Well, this doesn't matter, right? I just get it back when I fatal push it. Am I going to live long enough for that? I might not live long enough for that. I won't have enough mana for that. No worries. Luris? Get guard, dude. You can play Archon on turn one. It's the only reason they almost won game one is because they had an Archon. Nada. I guess I could just go for Citadel, right? Oh, no, they have a Mind Break Trap. Hmm. Maybe I just go for Citadel. Oh, no, that I, have, I don't have a top to use unless I draw Moxon. Oh, I guess we could just do that again. They would return their Thalia. Is that good though? Might be with snap. I don't know. This balance has looked so good recently.
They didn't save her. I do lose all my lands, I guess. Kind of forgot about that part of it. I didn't really think about that part of it, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> um, are you going to rab trap me here? Guess I'm getting wrap trapped. It kind of screws up some of my plans. <laughs> um. Hmm. I have an answer for that. I need to abuse my top. Oh, these cards are bad. I guess I can get Ancestral. I do not know. I do not know. I wanted like a Lotus or something, like a Mana Crypt so I could tinker, you know? I don't know, man. Should I get a force? This could backfire if they draw a Spirit of the Labyrinth. Yeah, we can't beat another Archon either. I think we were supposed to get Force. My instinct was Force, but I, I decided to get Ancestral. But looks like looks like it worked out. It's Archon is what we can't beat. I can't beat an Archon anymore because I don't have a balance in my deck. Oh, no, I have Dress Down. We're fine. Their whole hands are trap. Well, I know there's a Mind Break Trap, and I know there's an Ar uh, They drew fucking Misstep? <laughs> Swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> Relic Ward in my set top? <laughs> Should I... Okay, so here I just tinker for a Sphinx, and then they get rid of my Sphinx, and they hit me to five. And then I snap push the Relic Warder, and that should be good enough. Unless they draw a Wasteland or something. I think that's correct. Hmm. 
I mean, they have an answer, but I have an answer for their answer. And then after, I should be in good shape. What a weird game of Magic the Gathering. What could they draw that they wouldn't play? Another trap? Is there any reason for me to wait? Like, I want them to attack, right? Ainment Priest? I think I'm down to lose to Containment Priest. They didn't attack? Come on, opponent. No attack? No attack. I mean, I get to attack twice with things. It should be fine. Yeah, they did strip mine my tundra when I had a mentor in hand. That is true. To be fair, I also, you know, ancestral them and balanced. So a little here, a little there. <laughs> Not even close to close. I mean, there's a mono white player who's XO, so. I think I'm just going to pass. Oh, they've lost to Discover End? Well, everyone loses to Discover End, so they're still XO in my heart, you know? Yep, I'll be here. You all can hang out with me when we play the next tourney. Wow, what a game of Magic the Gathering that was. The no attack, though. The no attack, though. All right, welcome to the ninth and final round of this vintage uh, Eternal Weekend event. I am 5-3, and three, which means a win in maybe top 64. Uh, we're up against an ape on a unicycle, which is always exciting. Um... Okay, this hand looks pretty medium. It has some things that are good, but has a lot of things that are utility. I don't really think I like this hand. A lot. 
but I think it's reasonably keepable. It's good against a couple different decks, which is nice. Um, and if I play against Bazaar, I could even like draw box in and play balance. It's pretty bad against like a combo oriented deck. It is bizarre again. So I'm looking to draw on Moxen so I can balance and kill their bizarre. A non opal Moxen. Okay, never mind. I have no chance in life. I did I bought. It's the I it's it's just fucking double bridge from below grief for the second time. This is the second time this is I'm just gonna play fucking ten sideboard cards for Bizarre Bad Deck. I'm so done with this. <laughs> I just fucked up, man. Fucked up. Discover in is probably on Jeskai or Doomsday. Those are likely choices. Oh, thanks for the raid, Mr. Lee. Hope you had a good eternal weekend round one. They took the repeal. No, they took the they took the pearl. Yeah, the pearl's I think the best choice. Wasn't gonna get there anyways. How do I win this game? I'm gonna repeal. Yeah, I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna stream straight through the next event. Thanks. Have a good sleep. Sorry, Baghdad is fucked up, man. Can I win? I think this is fine. They're just going to take balance, probably. I think I'm going to go Vamp, Lotus, Merchant Scroll, Ancestral. I didn't know there was two. I guess I'll just force it. They don't know Vamp exists. Vamp was the card I drew for Petro for Probe. Yeah. Lotus. And and ancestral. Ancestral. Two, four, six, nine, twelve. Okay. I don't really know what I could have hit there, to be honest. Like, maybe this is a time walk, and then I hit um, a, a Yagwil, I guess, is probably the out. Okay. Um, Sphinx, Jailer, Needles, Grips, Tabernacle, Island. Dress down, Hercules, misstep, Snapcaster, out, submit.
Should I break these videos into two videos if they're seven hours long, nine rounds long? Make everything two part video? Kind of shit, isn't it? Like if you're dead, who's gonna watch the second part? I guess I could just make, ah, I'm like kind of worried to make it like a whole nine hour video. Kind of seems dumb. Mm, I don't know. I didn't really think about that. Okay, on the play. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, the classic. Can I beat Force of Vigor? This is the final match of the Swiss rounds. It is. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Needle and see what happens. They have a Force, Pitching, Narc, Amoeba. All right, I'm just going to pass the turn then. No, that's not true. I'm going to play Sapphire and then pass the turn. Obviously, I can get my Tormod's Crit hit by Grief in this way, but I don't think I want to run this into like a Trap or a Vigor or anything. That could be wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to hold Sapphire and play Crypt, but letting them play with the knowledge that I have a Crypt is like kind of bad. And even if they hit my Tormod's Crypt with a Grief, I do have Yogwill Tormod's Crypt. I also have Yogwill Needle at some point. If I can wait like one more turn before using this and this, if I can like play this and then go to the next turn and then go like a uh, rebuy, Needle rebuy. Nice. Congrats on your 6 3. Good night. So they did have Grief. See what they do. Maybe they just hit Yogwill, so I can't rebuy Needle, and I just have to play through with one tar with one Tormod's Crypt. They currently don't have any Dredgers, actually. So maybe it makes sense. Doesn't okay. Looking for like a mox maybe. So I think I'm gonna try waiting one turn here. That way I can get um that way I can get needle and crypt back. Nice slasher X2. X2 is a good run. You didn't even have an, an easy show, uh, an easy set of matches either. It's some some powerful wizards. Outcomes have not looked very strong. Well, when my opponent tears apart my hand and I have no moxin, I agree. Kind of the problem with outcome. It's either very strong or very not strong. I don't think I've had the best the best set of draws to make PO look good tonight. I don't think I ran very hot. And you do have to run hot to win a tournament, so just playing okay is not great. Um, you need to play well and run hot. Yeah, X2 is a good run. Sure. Hmm, that was it, Matt. True. They actually brought back Icarid this turn. That's bold. And then they dredged away their only dredger and have nothing. Oh, they have second bazaar. I see. But they still have no dredger, so they're going to lose this game pretty badly in my mind. I just hit them with needle uh, crypt and they lose. I don't really like the way my opponent played this game. I think my opponent played this game poorly. Well, not a dredge aficionado, but it feels bad knowing what I have in my hand. Yangmoth's Will is just such a good magic card. Oh, I shouldn't have done that now. I should have done that on their turn so that I could put my thing back in my yard. I can't bring it back anyways. It doesn't matter. Um... Uh... 
It wasn't a hundred percent dredge, but we did lose a dredge. Also lost a squee and to a tinker high roll. <laughs> My opponent says so taking Yagwill well not taking Yagwill was definitely wrong, I see. Yeah, I kinda think they should have taken Yagwill, but I think they could have fought through one Tormod script with two bazaars, um, but fighting through Tormod script plus Needle, it's kind of like how you're supposed. You used to. You used to. You used. To, ugh. It's kind of like how you were supposed to take. Wow, they drew Force Force. Interesting. Um, you were supposed to take like Snapcaster when that was played in Modern. You can play Citadel next turn. The natural hard cast citadel. <laughs> the natty, no lotus hard cast citadel. Very nice. I like how we played that game. Nope. All right. Can we ever win a game three versus Bizarre? Survey says. Shall we put a poll? We should do a poll. How do I do a poll? But not a poll. How do I do a bet? Do a bet. Start a prediction. Start a prediction. Oh, it's too late. All right, never mind. This is why we have Raphael around. What is this hand? <laughs> Look at this. This is a this is a very like beautiful picture of how today's tournament has gone. <laughs> just um, just a classic, really. I'm just gonna mulligan that. This looks better. Keep. Um. Yeah, let's just get rid of a vault. Three hollow vine? That's a lot. I don't really feel like there's that many hollow vine in the tournament. Hollow vine's a pretty bold choice. Like, it's good against a Tinker meta, but it's bad against Hull Breacher, Tinker meta. So it's kind of weird. Do they have a grief again? Grief is so good here. I think I can let a hollow one go. Okay. Mentor is interesting. It's going to be really good for me, I think. Inca Sphinx. Vigor? They got a Vigor? I have a Force. Two Vigors? No. Okay. So, Dredge 3. Misses. Okay, I guess they could draw Vigor again. Okay, I have a mentor. I need to draw spells. Chalice on zero. Well, I'm glad I kept in repeal. I can take one. Theo? 
Three, four, five, six. Need another moxin. But I can't get a moxin because of chalice. If if they didn't draw chalice, I would have hard cast Sphinx this turn. That's funny. Really funny. Where the bridge? Uh, does that work? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I hold it? No. <laughs> I kind of need to draw my actual spells, not my zeros. Nice. Like my opponent can draw vigor at any point and I immediately lose this game. Good night. Please. All right. Well, at least I'm not dead, I guess. They're about to pitch to hand size next turn. I really need to draw actual spells. Imagine I have to chump Mentor because I never drew a spell. Thank God. There's PO looking good. Who said PO doesn't look good? Look how look how good PO looks here. They probably have force or something. I think I would force back. Should be enough tokens to win. I guess they could have vigor as well. And this was aggressive, but I kind of had to cast something. Force pitching amalgam. I'm going to force back. I feel like they would have upkeeped it, but they do have a green card, so they just would have had to draw in vigor. All right, that should be good. Oh, right. I fucking forgot about that. Oh, well, I should have repealed that. Oh my god, am I... <laughs> I'm actually sh short because I didn't repeal the ruby. <laughs> I, if I had repealed before the ruby, I had exactly nine for lethal. But this in this situation, I have to play top and hope to draw something because I don't have enough. <laughs> oh, better. Oh, GG's. GG's meaningful. I, I am. I, I am the ape tonight. That is for sure. GG's. Oh man, I gotta play nine more rounds tonight. Uh no 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 I cannot top eight I'm I'm trying to get top sixty four with my six and three record. <laughs> uh, it was not a good tournament for me. Six three looks good, but it, it just wasn't not a good tournament for me. It looks like I'll top hit top sixty four, but uh, we'll be okay. Um, so I played this list today. Uh, except I had a um an Urza Saga instead of a Yixid Jailer. I thought the list was fine. I thought Dress Down was fantastic. I thought Mentor was fantastic. I thought Balance was fantastic. Uh, Repeal was great. I bounced so many chalices. I, I honestly think that I built this deck exactly how I wanted it to be built in the main. Um, it did exactly what I wanted from the deck. It just I just didn't really high roll enough. 
I lost a couple like Tinker games um, where my opponent had better draws. I lost a couple dredge games. So I'm going to switch out the the Urza Saga that's for Jeskai in the board. I'm going to put another Jailer in and maybe I'll try to find room for like a, an eighth piece of Graveyard Hate. I don't think an eighth piece of Graveyard Hate makes sense. I think I like having to both Tinker targets. I like having two pushes. I like having the, the, the recall. So maybe we'll just play seven pieces of Graveyard Hate for next round. Um, and next time we play PO. I don't know if we'll play PO in the, in the next round. We may. I do think the deck is good, and I think that dress down is the the missing piece to make PO like really competitive against creature based hate decks, like against Bug, against Mono White, against these kind of decks. I felt like dress down was just unbelievable all day. Balance was unbelievable all day. Um, the real problem is I just I just lost to my I lost two matchups against Bizarre, and that does happen. So. Um, overall, it was a good event, and I'm ready for the next one. Uh, if you made it all the way to the end of this, probably going to be an eight-hour YouTube video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Make sure that you're subscribed. That way you can watch more videos in the future. Um, and I will see you for next Eternal Weekend.